Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Uh, it is Wednesday. It's a pretty miserable day in Manchester, but that doesn't matter. We're going to channel some creative energy. We're also going to channel some feminine energy. So it was uh, International Women's Day on Monday. Um, much like Valentine's Day or Dogs at Christmas. That's a bit of a weird reference. Um, it should be every day. It should be forever. Uh, independent women year, uh, decade, millennia, okay? Um, so we're gonna make a sign um, to celebrate in International Women's Day. Um, so we're gonna practice our fonts again. I'll put the uh, alphabet up in a minute. Our little bubble font alphabet. So if anyone's a little bit rusty on the uh, bubble font, I'll leave that up there so you can copy it. So again, International Women's Day uh, uses quite a lot of these letters. Um, so it's going to be really, really good practice, as it is every week for the signage, uh, to create a little something to put on your wall, in your window, uh, or to give to somebody, create a card, it doesn't matter. It also doesn't matter that it isn't officially International Women's Day, because, I probably said independent at the start, International Women's Day, it doesn't matter that it's not independent um, International Women's Day. <laughs> Did it again. Um, we want to celebrate women across the world. And obviously there's been recent uh, interviews um, on certain uh, major celebrity uh, chat shows recently. I'll leave it at that. Um, and I think we should be supporting all of our women. Um, and it's a, a killer that we're seeing, you know, a member of the royal family, literally um, <laughs> going through absolute trauma. Um, so I'm sure we all feel for Meghan Markle. But again, you know, in my world, she seems like a, a good woman. Um, so let's celebrate that and we're going to do an International Women's Day sign. Uh, first I need to get my Poscas ready though. So uh, we'll go through how to use a Posca as well because i got a new pen. I'll be buying some more later today. Thank you to everyone I've got doing. Uh, thank you to everyone who's supporting the Paint With Keys, whether that is through watching or liking and sharing. Obviously getting involved is the main, main thing. Um, but if anyone's uh, put their hand in their pocket and um, donated three quid, uh, for a pen or a coffee, as it says on the website. Thank you, Mr. E, Ed Hampson, loads of other people. I'm heading to Cass Art today to restock my pen stash. Uh, so you'll see some new pens come out. And again, I got a new one yesterday. Um, so I will show you how to use this, how to get it started from fresh pen. Then we'll make our sign. And then we're gonna uh, play with the idea of characters and letters. So we're kind of collaborating with ourselves from Monday in the doodle day, uh, but today is lettering, so I want to bring a bit of the doodle idea into the lettering, uh, just to kind of, lettering's always a little bit kind of uh, formal. You know, it's quite fun writing, but it is quite formal, quite technical in, in places. Um, so having a little bit of fun in there and adding some doodles, so we can add a little bit of portrait day, we can draw some beards, an eye patch, a parrot, a hat, um, glasses, you know, anything we want onto these little letters and you can create your own sort of customized uh, letter for your name. So my name is Pete Obsolete. I will be using P and O. Um, please have a think about your name. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Um, and we'll get the, uh, I'll get the uh, alphabet up now. Let's grab me blue sack. Uh, so again, if you've missed any of the previous sessions, where we go through this um, style of writing, very simple. We just do square blocks, round all them off, and then just create this really nice bubbly font, kind of a balloon letter almost as well. Um, and that means that we can all draw today. And again, I don't mind if you're copying me. It's a, a vital part of uh, being a creative. There's the rune on the back as well. Um, is that kind of copying idea. You're not copying me. You might be using me as inspiration, for example, like I'm using you guys, in uh, the names and the colours and all that sort of stuff from yesterday. But it's all about just making sure um, that you have a kind of a bit of confidence about it. And if you see something that I do and you like it, I'm very happy for you to try that. More than happy because it ends up not being mine. It ends up being yours in exactly the same way that anything I draw is mine. Even though I'm inspired and uh, influenced by a lot of art and people and music and loads of different stuff, films. Um, it's my hand, so if I draw something that I've seen someone else draw, it's not theirs, it comes mine. All right, there we are. So, just gonna leave him there, just make sure you can see that. Let's just excuse them. What? Okay, so we've got a bit of uh, instrumentals as usual. Uh, again, I know you might have uh, heard these tunes before, um, but it's so Facebook doesn't flag them up. 
Um, I had a little idea about the release of my album that the instrumentals are from. Um, I might do an a cappella version of those as well. Who knows? Again, all about having that creative energy. Um, I was sitting in my studio and I just thought, wow, I could release a cappella versions. Um, so simply from being in the Paint Repeat studio, I'm thinking creatively about other jobs, other projects, other ideas that I've got. That's exactly what these sessions are for. All I've done is put some paper on a wall and grab a few pens. You can do that as well. Okay, so let's uh, just get you guys sorted. Sorry, standard Macintosh issues. And I will use his full name when I'm annoyed at him. Uh, <laughs> so while we're waiting for that, uh, let's just, oh, hello, 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 hello. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Robert Mann. Oh, my boy. Um, I love seeing uh, people uh, join the Paint With Peas. Certainly people I've, uh, I've loved from my past. Um, still love you, Rob. Um, how you doing, big man? Hope everything's all right in uh, Nottingham or wherever you are. We're just getting a bit um, creative on a Wednesday. Please draw with me, Rob. I would love to see some of your drawings. I don't think I've ever seen uh, any of uh, Rob's drawings. Um, so please draw with me. Again, if you want to draw me while I'm talking, or if you're just getting a group and I'm in the background, let's just get creative, all right? So I've taken the plastic off my pen. You will notice that when you get a new Fosca, I love these guys, from Cass Art, for the record. You can get them from other places, but Cass is the one. Um, they come with a foam uh, or a felt tip, all right? So it's just a little white foam. Completely empty, won't draw on anything yet because there's no ink in him. So how we get the ink from the pen into the nib, there's a little uh, reservoir. Put the lid on, make sure it clicks, shake. Shake it like a Polaroid picture, although you shouldn't shake your Polaroid pictures, so thanks Outcast uh, for ruining years of <laughs> Polaroid photography. Okay, shakey shake, nice long shake, you can, you can hear that he's full. Still got nothing on the nib. All we need to do is find a, a strong, flat surface and push down on the nib with my finger. I'm not jabbing it in, I'm not stabbing the page as it were. I'm just lightly pressing down on the back of the pen, on the bottom of the pen. And you should see that ink come through the nib in a minute, hopefully. <laughs> Again, not the best spectator sport ever, but I think it's worth having a bit of uh, technicals about the pens that we're using. So every time I start a new Posca, I will show you uh, how I start mine. I could do it out of the session, but again, I think it's vital tech or technical knowledge. But if you are uh, starting out, if you're a novice, intermediate, you know, professional artist, and you want to try some Poscas, you need to experiment and work out how they work. I didn't know until uh, my good friend El Tacador Industries, shout out to Tim, um, showed me how to use the pen and how to start it properly so the nib doesn't die quicker. Basically, you're not, you don't want a rounded nib if you've got a wedge and vice versa. You can see that ink coming into the pen now. A couple of little test lines. You can see that it's uh, just becoming saturated now. There we are. Just hold it down a little bit longer just to get that nice, thick, black line of the pen. Okay. So that's our pen started, and I have my paper behind me. What I don't have behind my ear is my pencil. Uh, so let's grab Mr. Keith. Uh, again, if you want to donate uh, a couple of quid to the Paint With Peas, please do. Literally goes directly back into the, uh, the uh, Paint With Peas uh, account, and it means I can get pens and paper and stuff and keep these sessions going, because I love doing them. Okay, there we are. Okay, so. Uh, first things first, we're going to make a sign. I'm going to try and fit it all on one page. So I'm just going to turn my landscape because I know that the word international is quite a big word. I N I N T E R Inter N A T I O N Nation A L A L. So I'm going to use that I N T E R. N A T I O N A L. 13 letters. Okay, so I've got a visually, this is where uh, the imagination part of the Ping Repeat comes in. You have to imagine that the word is sitting there, and all you've got to do is fill that gap. All right, so I'm going to basically guess where halfway is. Um, halfway between 13 is uh, 7 or 8, so you've got 7 on one side, 7 on the other. 
So we want our eighth letter there. I might in fact uh, write international down. In spaces, international. Always worth having a bit of a, a working sheet next to you as well. So I can then count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's A. So A is the middle letter. Yeah, six one side. My bad. Okay, sorry, my maths is terrible. Six one side, A, six the other side. Six and six is twelve. One is thirteen. I'm an artist. <laughs> there we are. That's my excuse. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to fit six letters in here. Six letters in here and a letter in there. We're gonna try and keep them all the same size. So again, hopefully you're following my hand. I'm gonna draw those uh, the balloon structures in and then we'll ink it in in a minute. Okay, so. I, N, T, into, yep, good, okay. Again, just checking my, uh, Rough page, just to see where the letters are sitting, how many we're in and all that. I-N-T-E-R, I-N-T-E-R, so we need an R. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, okay, we're no, just a part there, N. I-O-N, wow, that is, a, that is close. Okay, that is a very close international, but again, there's loads of letters in there. Um, luckily, there's a few uh, tricks, like the fact we're putting the letters behind each other that gives us a bit more um, playground, a bit more playing room, just to make sure. And obviously, we can decide to use those pencil lines or not. So if I get to here, and I think oh, it might be a bit squished up, I can uh, lengthen those a little bit in my black pen. So international, women's, W, where is W? O, M. ENS. So women's. Let's see how many it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So exactly three and three. So we can let's keep it the similar size. So the sign looks right. O. M. E. N. Apostrophe. Women's. Um, I kind of want to put day, but I'm also keen to put week uh, or year or lifetime uh, just to make sure that we're representing that International Women's Day feeling every day um, and celebrating the amazing women in all our lives. Uh, it's my mum and my sister's birthday on International Women's Day, um, so very close to my heart, all about celebrating those amazing queens in, in the world, right? Um, so let's put, I'm just going to put day. Uh, <laughs> International Women's Forever doesn't make grammatical sense, and the English, uh, not bad in me, excuse the French. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not with that. So let's just put day, International Women's Days. Let's make it a plural, and then it can be all the days, all right? I'm gonna put some crowns in, um, and maybe a few different bits and bobs. International Women's Days. D, A, Y, Okay, so we're doing plurals, because that's how it should be. Uh, let's do some crowns as well. Da, 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 da. Where can we do a crown? Let's do some crowns here. So again, just, just guessing. Nice little sketch lines. Customary, obsolete ink splodges. And I think, uh, let's do a heart here as well, just to make sure that we've got a heart involved. Okay, so now I'm gonna ink it in. Uh, I will say my good mornings uh, just after I've finished inking, all right, before we cut it out. So again, we are gonna be making something like these. Uh, you can see the rocking arm one, can't you? Yeah. Okay, cool, sorry, just checking, you can see that rock in R. Okay, um, I'll get back to the comments in a second, all right, thanks. Um, okay, so I'm just double checking. There's something that I need to sort out here. But again, I can move that L in a little bit. I like where the I sits. I think everything else is all right, so let's go. Um, I'm gonna grab my medium pen. So again, the Posca sets, <clears throat> you know, come in the big fat ones. 
uh, that a lot of people are st <laughs> scared to use are Overdrawn by Art Knight. Shouts to Dave Draws and Near Mates and Charlie Cosby and everyone supporting Overdrawn. Um, every time I put one of these in front of somebody, they get a little bit excited and a little bit scared at the same time. Um, the fact that I've got big hands and these are big pens works for me. It also breeds a confidence, so you can go in with a thinner pen and then try it with a fatter pen, and you'll see the difference in the line, all right? And the, and the quality of your, the quality of the confidence metaphors. Okay, let's see what this looks like. So I, and again, please copy this alphabet. Uh, you can see it on the, yep, yeah, you can just about see it, yeah. So if you do need a, a reference point for the letters, please just draw them. Uh, again, the kind of looser it is, the, the more uh, personal it is. So if it's not super accurate or anything, obviously I've practiced quite a bit, um, it really doesn't matter. It's the, the message is the most important, right? So there's T. Okay, here's A. So again, I'm starting to think about editing. So I just want to bring everything in a little bit just so we've got quite a bit of space between these two. That's okay. It's called leading and kerning, by the way. Okay, I, move him up, make him a little bit slimmer. Let's give us a bit more room on the O and the N and the A and the L, okay? so. A little bit more room. It's about right, it does slant, uh, it does uh, push this way a little bit. I'm not bothered about that. Okay, women's. As O. Ah, we didn't do the one. Ah, okay, we'll sort that out in a second. Oh, my pen's leaking as well. Lovely. I just said that thought just then. Ah, that's an M. I'll tell you my thought in a sec when I've stopped concentrating, because that's what happens. <laughs> Two seconds. That's an M. Looks a bit weird that, but well. Okay, and days. So again, every bit of pencil line underneath those letters we can use. International Women's Days. A couple of crowns just for good measure. Okay, so in that O, I've left that O for a reason. Just going to put these bits in. Just the centre bits. Okay, for O, I want to. Um, the, all right. I want the, uh, the international symbol for woman, which is a circle with a plus sign at the bottom. Uh, we did a whole color piece of that yesterday in pink and blue. I uh, absolutely love that piece. I'll show you. So this was yesterday's piece. It might just look like a load of pink and blue and some hearts over it. But underneath all that hearts, the metaphor for love, certainly the symbol for love and the obsolete uh, canon, over symbols of woman. So the symbol for woman is a circle with a plus sign at the bottom. If you look carefully, each of these symbols underneath it all is that symbol. So we've got this kind of camouflage and a hidden meaning, but also the metaphors of the symbol for woman and then the symbol for love, 
and pride and honor and, ro and loyalty and all that sort of stuff in the heart, there's a nice little mix of a piece there. Okay. Stay. Okay. Uh, okay, next one. We've got a little heart to do. I'm going to do that uh, symbol in the middle in a second. Okay, so nice and easy. Okay, there we are. There's an internet. Forget this line. I do apologize. I'm going to try and uh, we'll try and camouflage that. All right, let's do that now. Um, I'm going to leave that to dry for a minute. That ink's a little bit wet still, so it's picking up the white. Or oh, the white's picking up the black, so it's going great. More than okay with that. Uh, before we get cutting out, you can go on in my sign wall. I've got a full wall of signs over there. You can go in the very top though. Um, let's have a look at who's rolling with me. So, good morning, good morning. <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Good morning, Mia. Good morning, Mrs. Barton, um, Ed, uh, and uh, Mr. Robert, and every Mr. Robert Man, use his full name, um, and everybody watching. Thank you very much. Even if you're watching back later on or on YouTube, hello from Manchester. Hi. Um, so, I'm glad that helps with the Poscas. Thank you, Nia. Um, if you are uh, a little bit new to the pen or the art pen world or the uh, pens in the art world, um, it's all about just buying one and testing it, all right? You don't want to spend too much money on something that you don't uh, completely understand or even comprehend sounds condescending, but uh, if you can't comprehend what it can then do, if you don't know the full range of what a pen can do, um, it will limit you in your ideas because that pen will probably be able to do quite a lot more than you think. It's always worth experimenting. Again, another perfect example of why the paint with peas exists. I love a bit of experimentation with pens and paint and pencils and paper um, and just feeling that freedom of art or feeling the freedom that art gives you, um, that your imagination just steps in. As soon as you're like uh, in that head of, um, we're not gonna draw something from the real world, we're gonna draw something from my imagination world. It can be inspired by the real world, obviously. Um, it's a very important kind of process to kind of keep that ideas, those ideas going and keep that creative energy going. Obviously having the materials around you is always gonna help and that doesn't matter if it's pencil and pen, even a biro, you know, like an Ikea pencil, it doesn't matter. Um, all the way up to like a, an expensive, you know, um, art brand that I am too poor to know about yet. Uh, <laughs> so, anything goes here. I hope we've got a little International Women's Day thing. Uh, sign, I keep saying thing. Uh, sign ready. So now we're going to cut it out. So get some scissors. I love making these signs. There's something really kind of, uh, I'd say cathartic, but it's more creatively. Um, so, rather than being kind of a, a, th a therapeutic idea, but having this kind of, uh, you know, freestyle freedom within art to just draw a weird sign, and then adding that little bit of extra creativity just by cutting it out and making it into an actual kind of piece, always helps. Giving it a little border will also kind of um, strengthen it and draw your eye to it all that sort of stuff. So, these signs, always good to have a positive message in them. We've done loads. The Rockin' R, We Heart NHS, um, what was the other one? RIP, so Tom, of course, uh, Most Wanted. Uh, I've done Be Kind. Uh, we did a nameplate for Redbeard the Great. So there's loads of different purposes for this idea. The main one being is just to have fun. It's very, very simple. They're kind of fun to do. Um, that's it. Anything more that you can kind of gleam or get from them, from this kind of process, even better. We'll rub those pencil lines out in a sec. I'm just uh, carefully cutting around my sign. And again, you might notice that I'm, I'm cutting using the whole of the piece. So I'm moving the piece rather than I'm moving the scissors. Instead of that being still of me trying to get in all these tiny little, tiny little areas, I'm using the paper as a guide, or use my left hand to guide the paper into the scissors. And then obviously controlling that with my right hand uh, while we're cutting. Never closing the scissor, so you get a really clean edge. Obviously this is taking up most of the page, so normally you have like, like a cutout, but 
it's really big today, so uh, no, um, not much off cuts. Okay, so I'm just on the international bit. Again, I realised this day was on Monday. We should be celebrating women every single day of our lives. Oh, it should be. Always helps um, drawing a little bit near to an edge as well. So as you can see, I'm not actually doing loads of cutting here, getting loads of bits, but again, because it's um, just the right uh, distance away from the top of the sheet, I can create this kind of a stroke line. So kind of like a border around everything fairly easily. Okay, lovely, lovely stuff. Nearly just done the last bit of uh, ink drops and our last crown. Okay, let's get some blue tack on him just to make sure that we can put him up and see it properly. Blue tack's my best friend and worst enemy here. <laughs> I've uh, sworn several times under my breath uh, about blue tack, but honestly, he's uh, one of the stalwarts, one of the kind of pillars of um, art materials that you need in your life. So good. Okay, so there's our sign. On there, on there, on there. Okay, International Women's Days. Again, plural nightmare. But again, I think the metaphor, the meaning of what I'm trying to say is in there. I think the message comes across quite nicely. Um, and obviously we've got the crowns and the symbol for woman and a couple of ink and uh, even more smudges of ink because I have ink all over my hands, more than okay. Just tidy this up. Okay, three minutes of brew time. Time is moving very fast today. I hope everyone's doing all right. Um, in a lockdown in March, Got some coffee, they're quick. Okay, so I'm just gonna spend the next two minutes just before brew time, set my new, uh, my new sheet up. because so I've got blue tack to uh, <laughs> argue with. Two seconds, let me go there. I'll leave on it. So I'm just gonna move my, uh, my second sheet up. To a comfortable area to draw on. And again, all we're doing in this section of the show after brew time, obviously, I'm not an idiot. Um, uh, 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 we're going to be creating characters from our letters. So, again, it's a bit of a mix between a doodle day, a lettering day, and a portrait day all in one. Um, so, we're going to draw, so now I'll probably write my name, so Pete or P O, um, as two characters. Uh, I think I'll do a sketch version on the top. Just maybe maybe one or two or three versions here. Ah, screw it, I'll do a big one. Let's get another sheet out. Again, this is where your co-free money uh, goes, buying sketchbooks and pens, uh, my two most valuable and most used items. So, as in value bought to me, these are very, very, <laughs> very good prices. Uh, so I'm going to do a rough version first, um, just to show you that you know everything starts a little bit rough, and even if it is using a you know a nice sheet of uh, cartridge paper from my sketchbook, it's all part of that working process. And again, like everything, like every other uh, doodle sheet or background idea in the paint with piece, it goes straight into the bank um, of images that we can then use in future projects. There we are. Okay, so I'm just going to put him there. Just so they're staggered a little bit, uh, and I'm going to draw a couple of letters. I'll probably do P E T E. In fact, P E T E. Create some characters out of those four letters, and then move the sheet, and we'll do one big. Excuse me, a coffee. Um, we'll do one big character letter. So I'm going to do a big P. If your first name begins with P, well played. Um, you can copy me, but if not. I will leave the uh, alphabet up just over brew time actually as well. So um, if you don't know what your, if you don't know how to draw that letter, please just pick uh, a couple of letters from here, whether it's just your initials, a nickname, 
uh, or a four letter word, whatever you want, um, and practice drawing these for the next five, two to five minutes. Uh, and again, it's exactly brew time. Um, so if you do need uh, some time to get some food, some fruit, some water, or some fresh air, please, please do that now. Um, it's pretty warm in my studio, I've got my window open. Um, but you know, I've got my water, coffee, and all my art materials here um, and here. Uh, so I'm pretty set, set up. But if you do need to take that time, please, please do. It's so important to be focused on your own mental health, as well as obviously having a bit of a, you know, a bit of time and a bit of your head for everybody else as well. If you know someone's feeling uh, a little bit extra down in the dumps or isn't having the best of times, please give them a message. We have the internet. There is free messaging. You can just say. Hi, I miss you, it's been a while, hope you're all right. That's all you need to say. So, there we are. It is brew time, I'm gonna drink some more coffee. I'll do my little spiel as well. Um, and yeah, I'll, uh, I've got an announcement for tomorrow as well. Okay, hello, hello, hello. Oh, Mrs. Martin's asking questions, hello. Um, do you find marking the sheet with parallel lines useful. Um, I'm not sure what you mean. If you mean uh, with the International Women's Day, like the vertical line, I always try and put the uh, two middle lines in, exactly the same as the facial structures. So we get a middle line and a, a horizontal and a vertical middle line. Um, and then I kind of, I visually uh, guesstimate where things are gonna go. And then obviously again, simply through practice, my, my head and my hand, um, uh, good friends. <laughs> so I know the size of the page, I know roughly where my eye will tell me where the middle is. Most of the time I'm right because of sheer practice and just seeing loads of different types of formats. Um, sometimes I think that parallel line thing, like uh, if it's on graph paper, if you were using, if you wanted to do something a little bit more official, a little bit more kind of uh, regimented, neater, um, kind of cleaner, then yeah, of course, measuring the lines, measuring the, uh, the graph paper, putting the blocks in, all that sort of stuff is a really, really good structural way of getting a, a font out. However, a big bit of paper and a pencil and a rubber um, has exact, the exact same effect for me. So I know that I can edit at will, and if it's a pencil line, I can rub it out and redraw it. So having those, having a few different ways of doing it and a few different approaches to different, stay, uh, uh, having a few different ways of uh, creating those, those letters, um, neat and messy, absolutely vital. Hi, I'm the messy side of that world at the moment. <laughs> um, I'm not really concentrating on the kind of finer details or fine art, um, you know, shading and all that sort of stuff. There are a few other shows that do that, um, but I think I have learned, um, you know, my, my trade craft and, and my skill set and all that sort of stuff from just doing, and I think that kind of freestyle mentality is such a freeing idea, it's got the word freeing, uh, such a, a better mentality to have um, certainly when you're approaching a piece of work, that you should have no inhibitions um, about what you're gonna do. And just kind of, once you've got the idea, you're just kind of experimenting always. Uh, yeah, shading and stuff is technically experimenting with different uh, shading and all that sort of thing. But again, just that immediacy of drawing and trying is the very, very first stage. This is the kind of caveman, there's a better metaphor. I kind of represent the caveman version of art. So that kind of, I see a wall, I need to leave my handprint on the wall. Um, that's my caveman voice. Um, <laughs> that kind of immediacy where, which is the heart of street art, leaving your mark on the world so people can see it, so another tribe comes and sees it, is exactly the same as 80s New York, you know, Manchester city centre. These artists are leaving uh, a message for the world, whether that's uh, in crazy kind of graffiti hieroglyph almost, so you can't read the word, or it's a piece. They're leaving their mark on the world, exactly the same as a caveman, exactly the same as what I'm doing here, um, which is just kind of just doing, right? It's so important to be a doer these days. And that is the end of boot time. Um, so I need to get back to being a doer instead of being a talker. Thank you for listening. Um, so I hope you've all uh, drawn a couple of letters um, that are your initials, a nickname, your family name, doesn't matter even if it's just the one uh, initial. I'm gonna do P-E-T-E. I'm gonna try and uh, create four different characters of letter. Obviously there's two E's in my name. Uh, they can be similar, like twins, but ever so slightly different shouts to map. Okay, so I'm gonna do four big letters. Uh, again, I'm just gonna divide that page roughly. 
There's a hand eye coordination in the corner right there. That's about there, right? That's fine. Okay, so I've got P. I've got an E. I've got a T. I've got another E. That's a bit big, isn't it? Just take that T down a little bit. All right, just in case you can't see that. Huge, as big as you can. P-E-T-E, -E. doesn't matter if they're not uniform sizes or whatever, this is just our sketch page. Straight back on there. That P could be bigger actually, couldn't it? Let's go bigger. If you can draw bigger, draw bigger every time, all right? If you've got the space to do it, even if you haven't got the necessary like artistic confidence to do it, by having that space, you will. Ha um, a lot of me feels like I have to fill it. If you get that kind of mentality in, though, that confidence would just be like I have to just fill it. You can colour it in black. You filled the page. Okay. Just get these uh, roughly right. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so we've got to think. I need to sharpen my pencil. Lovely. Excuse me. Okay, pencils ready. Beautiful. Okay, so uh, we've got to think hats. Exactly the same as a portrait day. When we do our little face structure at the start, we can freestyle that. So we've got, um, I might bring the red beard. Yeah, right, I'll bring the red beard eye patch back in for P. P for pirate. I drew Pete the pirate, who was one of our face structures. So let's do a, a, an eye patch going over Mr. P. I mean, that's a good way of uh, customizing the letters. Think of something that starts with that letter and put that in. Much like Letterland, shouts uh, anyone who uh, is old enough to rem remember Letterland. All right, uh, so eye patch, pirate eye patch. Uh, so he's gonna have a peg leg as well, so we can make him into a peg leg. Oh, peg leg, eye patch, parrot, pirate, all peas. Just so it happens, so he's gonna have a little parrot on his uh, just sitting out here. There's our parrot, that's all right. So, eye patch, um, he's gonna, <laughs> what should, should we try and do an R? I'll try and make him go R. R. Uh, so, stubble as well. R. Uh, so, he's got a peg leg. Uh, what else can he have? Uh, so uh, we're doing with uh, like a big buckle on his belt as well. So there's P, our big P has got a pa eye patch, a parrot, a peg leg, and a big buckle, and a, and a mouth going arr. All right, you have to make funny faces. Again, always helps if you're if you're looking at a mirror and you're trying to draw someone's mouth or even the facial expressions. How when they smile, what happens to their cheeks and nose and eyebrows when they're going arr? How does the lips move? How does the how does the the mouth actually look uh, to create that ar uh, mentality. I keep saying ar. It's great. Everyone go ar for me, please. Okay, E. So with E, let's do. Da, 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 da. He's. Uh, what should we do on him? Let's just do some crazy eyes at the start. I don't know. There's something there. We could do E for elephant. Um, let's do E for energy. Energy, uh, excited energy. All right, so we'll do E for excited energy. So we can do some eyes, also an E. Um, let's just make sure that's not there so it's not confusing me. So we could do some excited eyes, so really open eyes. Again, we can draw our two. And then a, a wow mouth, so wow. Okay, and then this could be a nose. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so eyes, nose, mouth on the different levels of E. And he's going, wow. Excited eyes, there we are. I'll show, I'll show you uh, the pencil lines in a sec. So for T, uh, we need, well, T is quite um, a strong letter. So I might do, <laughs> we could do him uh, doing a gun show. Uh, yeah, should we do that? It's gonna look super weird if he hasn't got a head though. Um, okay. 
Okay, we'll do that as a hat. Okay, cool. So this is going to be a hat, and this is going to be a long face. All right. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try and make it a bit more of an effeminate face um, for International Women's Day. Okay. I'll show you that in a minute. If you are female, please do not take any offense to this drawing. Okay, thank you. Just a little, uh, yeah, she looks all right. Okay, and then E, little disclaimer there. And then E, uh, another E, so not excited. We need or excited energy. So he's going, wow. And then uh, what should we do for another E? I'm gonna do the pirate, I think. Uh, e, E, E. Someone shout me out for something for E. If anyone's got any ideas, uh, please let me know. Hopefully beginning with E. T doesn't, uh, doesn't matter. Kind of think of a few different ways. So this is just using the structure rather than thinking of a word. Um, or like a name, Teresa, or you know, Tony. Or, um, okay. Ba, ba, ba. Let's have a look at the E, see if anything sparks up. Really trying to think of something. Um, Okay, I'm gonna do a vampire E, all right? So we're gonna do E as another human, but as a vampire. Um, so we're gonna put fangs here. So this is his mouth and this is his chin. Yeah, cool, all right. Um, and then, so his eyes, evil. There we go, E for evil. There we are. Okay, so they're very, very rough drawings. Let's finish those in. Uh, T for tree, of course. Um, I mentioned Teresa, uh, and I like that, uh, the old old pun um, of, do you know Teresa Green? As in, trees are green. So that's a nice little link, but I want to make her a little bit tree-like. So let's put some branches in her, and just make her a bit more of a tree. So she'll have bark in her as well. Um, I'm going to start inking those in right now. So, Mr. Pirate P, Mr. Pirate P, sorry. First things first is the eye patch. Oh no, moment, oh. Okay, top of the P, a little bit. Okay, the peg leg and the big buckle. Peg leg P. Arr. Strong chin, like bum chin. Loads of stubble, piercing. There we go, nice little pee. Uh, we could have done him in a hat as well. Uh, we'll do him bold. That's okay, and he's got a, his parrot as well. Parrot pal. Dead parrot, why not? Okay, excited E. Again, these are just sketches. Still got 15 minutes. So I'm just going to run through these. I think I've already chosen my P though, to be completely honest. But let's work on this that excited E. So uh, big eyes, nice big eyes.
his nose. Very strange E. Hopefully it'll come through in a second. Oh, this is, is the voice that I'm going to use for him. Or the, the, uh, the kind of noise that he's making. Oh, another little piercing, why not? And again, add a little weird kind of E beard. Okay, excited E. Okay, so uh, T for Teresa Green. So again, we started with that T shape. We're gonna do the, uh, the hat first. Uh, in fact, we're gonna make her a tree. Fine, we'll make her a tree instead. So instead of that hat, just gonna put uh, a canopy. Like a tree, kind of leafy canopy. You'll see where this goes in a sec. Okay. Well, I like this idea of yeah, the, the female tree, so like Mother Earth, that's in nature, Mother Nature as well. Brilliant. Okay. Okay, so uh, yep, 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 just get those cheeks in. Yep, okay, and then uh, we'll do some branches coming out as well. Okay, so there's a tree, a tree called Teresa. Uh, so female, tree, mother nature, energy, blah, blah. And then E for evil. So we're gonna switch that energy uh, and excited into evil. So evil eyes. We covered uh, eyes and uh, happy and evil in one of the first sessions in uh, January, if you wanna check that out. And then, uh, so I'm gonna put him a really straight Vampiric, vampiric nose. Uh, this is the kind of uh, Dracula widow's peak. And then down, and he's got a collar. And then uh, his mouth. And he's kind of desperate, jam, uh, desperate down shit. I'm just going to cut that in. Okay, so <laughs> there's our strange Dracula. Bites in his neck, why not? All right, um, and then, yep. A uh, bit of blood on there, why not? There we go. Okay, so I did think uh, I was gonna find something easier uh, for E, for our second E. More than okay, uh, again, <laughs> very strange. That's the whole idea with this one. We're switching up the idea of uh, three different days. So we've got our doodle day, our lettering day, and our portrait day with facial expressions and lines and everything in there as well. Okay, so my next one, I'm gonna draw a big P as a pirate. Uh, we have 10 minutes left. I think I've got just enough time to do a big P, a big pirate P. I'm gonna try and do them as neat as I can uh, in the time I've got. So let's see what happens. Nice big sheet. Uh, 
Uh, okay, pirate hats. Uh, I'm gonna have them in a bandana as well. So just a little couple of sketch lines to start with. As always. Uh, so yeah, where's this? So I've got his him next to me here. So uh, the arrow. Love that. I might even give him a nose, like a pirate nose. Uh, it looks a bit strange. I might do it in. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so just to keep, just to make sure that the uh, the letter form is recognisable straight away, I'm just going to put a little nose inside, but it's broken. Okay. So it's wild hard. Yep. 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 Okay. And then uh, so again, his peg leg. So he's uh, he's like trousers and peg leg, and obviously big belt buckle as well. There's the belt. Buckle. Arr, good. Uh, so, yep, there's his uh, bandana, bandana. He needs a piercing. So, a big, uh, big hoop, big pirate hoop earring on the back. And then uh, again, what he needs is uh, his friend, Mr. Parrot. We'll do Mr. Parrot up here this time. Mr. Parrot's appeared in a few weeks. Um, I always like seeing him. And again, it's good practice for me to draw birds. Okay, so that's my rough line. I'm gonna go straight over that now. Good. Uh, okay, so the first thing's first. I think that's gonna go over that here. So that bandana sits a little bit higher than the, uh, yeah, there, a bit higher than the uh, uh, eye patch. <laughs> All right, so eye patch time. You'll notice, uh, much like the uh, kind of overlapping lines here, I'm leaving the actual P shape. Two seconds. So um, I'm, I'm leaving that P shape to the very last minute just so I can get all those details in. So skull. Crossbones. Yep. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, mouth. Yeah, it's cool. Spend a little, obviously, a little bit more time on this to get those expressions in. Okay, and then big belt. Oops, let's put some belt buckles on them. I mean, uh, belt loops. A little bit of belt detail. Going slightly over those jeans as belts go over them. Or trousers. I don't know if he, I don't think they wore denim <laughs> in uh, pirate times. So here's his peg leg coming in. Peg 
Peg leg pirate Pete. In his nose. Another piercing, why not? Okay, uh, Mr. Parrot. Okay, um, so on his bandana, I kind of want to stripe a bandana actually, so let's make him stripey. Stripe of bandana, last line. Just gonna colour his eye patch in. He looks a bit too clean faced, clean shaven at the moment, doesn't he? So I think we need to add that, uh, those uh, beard details in the stubble. Hi, right, Patch. Okay, so we want uh, some kind of yeah pirate beard, so I'm going to do lion beard instead. Uh, two minutes to go, I think we are going to be golden. Okay, very simple. <laughs> Dave Walker, heart gene. Um, you might have to uh, back move back your statement up, Mister. <laughs> I can't work out if you're just being a you know, like making a comment on the hipsters. <laughs> to be honest. Anyway, um, so here is Pirate Pete, Pirate Pete the P. Uh, we happen to end up having ended up having loads of different P's in there as well. So we got eye patch, parrot, uh, peg leg. Uh, what else was there? Piercings. Um, there was one more. I can't think of a, a word for bandana that begins with P. Oh well. So again, from that, you know, all we've done today is have a look at the alphabet that we create uh, every week in the Payment P. So we use this bubble font. Uh, I will be making this available very soon to download and use. So we've made our uh, every our weekly sign for in the International Women's Days. Has to be a plural. We had a look at the alphabet. I chose my name to draw some characters in the letters. And then we chose one. I spent a little bit too, excuse me, a little bit extra time on that. Army Hearties. Um, 
eye patching parrot and banana just to confirm that he is definitely a pirate. Okay, that is amazing. And that, my friends, is bang on 11 o'clock. That is the end of the show. Thank you so much for joining me. Please take photos of your work. And again, if you send them to me, I will post them because I love seeing your audience artwork. Hopefully as much as you like seeing mine. Nah, um, absolutely incredible. Stay safe and stay creative. Um, again, if you need uh, to get back to yourself a little bit and do something creative, please have a look at Pete Obsolete on Instagram and Obsolete Formats on Instagram, Obsolete Formats MCR on Facebook and Pete Obsolete on Facebook, Snob underscore Ross, Snob Ross on Twitter and Obsolete Formats on YouTube if you have missed any of the other lettering days. Obviously, all the rest of the shows are on there as well. Monday is Doodle Day, Tuesday is Colour, Wednesday lettering, Thursday is Portraits, Friday is the gallery. I flip the camera around, we go into the gallery part of my studio and I show you all the work we have been doing this week. The uh, request I have for you for tomorrow, please name, oh, uh, name some famous women uh, or good women uh, in the world. Although um, my lovely mother has chosen a very, very special lady to draw tomorrow. And I think we're going to go for Hedy Lamar. If you want uh, a bit of research on Hedy Lamar, please do it today and get some pictures of her tomorrow. But again, please, any more uh, celebrity shouts for suggestions that we can draw in the Paint With Peace in the future of sessions, please send me some celebrity names, that'd be amazing. Uh, we're celebrating women this week, um, and uh, Hedy Lamar is just incredible. You'll find out a little bit more about her tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna draw her, I think. Please have a great day. Stay safe, stay creative. I will see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Ciao for now. Peace.